In May of 2022, my online business made over $431,000. And I keep learning new things along the way that change my perspective. So that money, it might seem like a lot, but it just doesn't sound like that much to me anymore, which is crazy because there's a lot of areas that I know that we can grow and improve upon to double or even triple that within the next year or two. Now, many of these opportunities were blind spots that I didn't even know existed even just a few months ago. So, you know, I started my blog, adamenfro.com in 2019 as the first business, the first side hustle that got me out of my full-time job. But now that I have my time, time back and we're pushing as hard as we can. We're learning so much, not just about blogging and YouTube, but about all areas of online business. So I want to make this video as a specific point in time to condense all this knowledge and learning into one video so that you can uncover and learn these things that I'm just learning now quicker than I did. So in this video, I want to really show you behind the scenes. Yes, you know, there's blogging. Yes, there's YouTube, but I want to show you the actual business side of things and exactly where we're at growing this from like a $4 million business into a $10 million a year business and beyond. And if you watch till the end, you'll know exactly how to get started from zero and how big the potential truly is. But before we get started, I want to invite you to watch my free masterclass. It's 60 minutes of training, how I make $300,000 a month. Make sure to sign up at the link below and let's get into the topic for today. So as of today, my business has five primary income streams, and these are affiliate revenue, ad revenue, CPC revenue, core sales, and sponsorship revenue. So these are the different, you know, passive income or income streams that we're dealing with here. And when we look at my, you know, QuickBooks profit and loss statement from January to May of 2022, we can see that there was $1.75 million made within that five month period and a net operating income here of $1.49 million. So profit of 1.49 in five months. Now let's pull just, I was just, you know, in this video example, I want to show May specifically because we're learning a lot and May is an interesting month. So when we look at just May, we see revenue is 431775 and we see that down here, net operating income of 369 So we just going to look at these specifically. So first is affiliate revenue. That's primarily still driven through my blog. So I have a lot of different articles, software reviews, you know, website builders, online courses, all these different articles that are monetized via affiliate marketing. We can see that they're laid out with the top five and laid out in the same way pretty much every time with an intro, the headings, the affiliate products, you know, companies in the list. And then if we go down, we can see it's reviewed, it's recommended, and then we get to this and we click the affiliate link and you can see that that's my unique affiliate link. So affiliate revenue is really like the stable, slow growth channel. It's really the first revenue channel to focus on in your business and it grows slowly over time based on traffic and making sales. So when we look at, for example, one of my affiliate dashboards uh, for an affiliate network where I'm in a number of different affiliate programs, we can see the revenue here. We can see that May was 29,000 here. We can look at my impact radius account, another affiliate network. I'm in about 20 affiliate programs in that. So for May, it was $13,000. So that's like 43. Then we see this is one for Buzzsprout that pays. So that was $6,500 in May. We can see Bluehost, $7,300 in May. A new one that we started like Talent LMS, there's $3,400 in May, Adobe, you know, in the last four weeks, $1,800. So that's affiliate revenue. And that's, you know, it's like pushing a boulder up a hill. That's considered CPA revenue, which is basically, I need to get somebody to click my affiliate link and purchase the product and then make a commission on that. There's also CPC revenue. So that one is actually a little bit different in that I get paid on a cost per click basis. So that's deals that are brokered through brands through my blog, where I don't have to get them to click the affiliate link and then purchase something. I have to just get them to click the affiliate link and then they pay me on a CPC basis. So that's possible once you start growing and you have a bigger blog. So next is sponsor revenue. So if you tap out affiliate revenue, you can't find affiliate programs for everything. That's what I'm really focused on now is like this sales effort. So I hired a, you know, 20 year sales veteran for the blog, and he's like our head of partnerships now. And we're working on, you know, how do we fill in the gaps? How do we make money for articles that are currently ranking, but you know, not really monetized? And that's through a sales effort. So that's what media sites do. And that's really selling the spots yourself. So rather than going through an affiliate platform, adding the affiliate links, making the sales and getting commissions, this is reaching out to brands, or them reaching out to you and just saying, we'll add you in this article, it's a flat fee this much per month, and this is the data and this is what you get. So it's one step above affiliate, you're taking a little more control of the situation and you can make a little bit more money this way. Um, and you, it's really a good relationship to build because you can still you know, make an effective ROI for the company you're promoting and make money yourself. So this is things like media kit packages. This is like article placements. So we'll add you number one into this article that's ranking or new articles that you create for them, review posts. This could be YouTube sponsorships, which we're just gonna be starting, you know, showing that you can make money with a small YouTube channel. And then email newsletters. So we have over 77,000 people as of today in the email list. So if they're in the list and you don't wanna buy my products, my information, my knowledge, then 
they're still on that list, we can still sell them different things or, or affiliate links or email sponsorships. So there's a lot of different things here and sponsorships help fill in the gaps of monetization. So if there's like eyeballs and attention on a certain thing, you can actually monetize it. So next is ad revenue. So I get ad revenue primarily through my blog. So people visiting and seeing banner ads and then through YouTube. So on my blog, Mediavine, uh, we made $11,694 in May. That's actually based on February traffic. So there's a later payment date when you use these ad networks. So you can see that in February we made this much at 40, 479,000 sessions, the RPM was 2343. Then we also have YouTube ad revenue, which was 6,057 on 330,000 views in May. So we can see in May, you know, we made that much. If we click on revenue, you can see $6,057 uh, in May, which is up 56% from April. The final one is course revenue. So this is me selling my own information on how to do the things that I do, which is basically half of the business. Half of it is me promoting other brands with the blog and media side. And then this half is like, how do I teach students how to do what I did through content, videos, and all of that. So my course blog growth engine, it's pretty much the best blogging course out there. So it's 40 hours of video content. We actually have multiple coaches that I've hired in the community and in the course all at all times. So they do one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, we do weekly Q and A's. Basically it's a community, a private community of 800 plus members. So when I think about selling information, this is a different business model than necessarily the blog side. And it's really based on the price and value ROI equation. So to create a course and create an information business, the value of the course for me has to be like 10 times what it's actually costs. So if it costs a thousand bucks, it's gotta be worth $10,000 in long-term revenue, so to speak. So if, if a student can get the course for $1,000 but make $10,000 in the first year, or the first six months, then that is a good value equation and get unlimited coaching and all of these things. So that's a big focus. So it's not just the blog. The blog was the first side hustle of many, you know, the starting point, the entry point of the personal brand. That's why I always recommend it's the first thing that you start. But after that, we're also learning, you know, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. So the growth on those platforms has been quite good as well. So when we look at May's YouTube data, we got 330,000 views, uh, 7,800 new subscribers to the channel and made $6,000 in ad revenue, which is not bad considering we just started the channel like legitimately about six months ago. So we're growing it at a really fast pace. Like there's other blog related channels or make money online channels that we've passed. So we're growing it at a good rate. And then we, you know, we, we started with one YouTube video a week. Now we're doing between two and three a week. And then we added shorts. So we do seven shorts a week on YouTube. We also started doing seven TikTok videos a week and seven Instagram video, uh, reels a week. And we can see what does that look like? So I don't really talk about that yet on here, but this is so new and we're just learning this. So let's just take a look at TikTok. So in the last 28 days on TikTok, we got 800,000 views, 21,000 profile views, uh, 2,900 comments, most of them weird comments, I will say some of them good. <laughs> but uh, even here, like the last seven days, we got 9,600 new followers on TikTok. So we're approaching about 20,000 followers on TikTok. And then when we look at our Instagram reach and our account, so we also got 485,000 Instagram views on our reels in the last 28 days with 7,500 new Instagram followers. It's interesting, you know, you, you start a blog because it's the entry point of your personal brand. It's the repository. You start with affiliate revenue because that's the thing that you can start, create articles, outsource, work on that blog first. But then you can also start growing all these different channels once you get your time back and you really wanna build a true brand for yourself. So now between the blog, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, we're getting 1.9 million views a month. So it's not just a blog getting 300,000 views a month or 500,000 readers. It's we're covering all platforms and we're doing it by beating the algorithms in all platforms. So we know the Google algorithm, the YouTube algorithm, creating great content there, and then also short form content that's getting, you know, over a million views a month. So it's not just me though. It's not just me. So I want to give you kind of a behind the scenes of what the core of my team looks like because I started with one, just me on the blog and one writer. And then I started growing it a little bit over time, but now about three and a half years in, this is what it looks like. So there's me, the founder. I'm the face of it. I do the videos, the teaching. I learn everything as we go. I do the strategy, keyword research. I still do keyword research. I still do video scripting. I script all the videos. I do all of that. But we also have Colin. Colin Ship, who's my business partner in this. He's like the operator of the business. So he does a lot of the hiring, a lot of the back end stuff, the sales funnels, really the important like operations of the business is Colin's job. And then we have a couple new hires that we did, which is 
sales guys. So sales veterans who have been in the sales world for 10 to 20 years. So we have a guy named Andrew who's really great. He's the head of partnerships on the media side of the business. So he's selling sponsorship spots for the blog. And then Jay is the head of information sales. So course sales, student successes. Then we have Eddie, who's the head of blog coaching. So he's in the communities always, does all of it. He works with another new coach, Jessica, who's also in there. And she's really great. She's making $10,000 a month just from consulting and doing these things with a new blog. So she made that within eight months. So we have the coaching set up. And then we have Kevin, who's our head of blog content. So I give him keywords to write about and he manages the content calendar. Then we have Luca, who's our amazing video editor, who's editing this very video right now. And he helps with the YouTube thumbnails, the planning, the shooting and all of that. Then we have my friend Josh, who's our web developer. So it's a lot more, it's not just me, you know, there's a full team behind this thing so that I can spend my time on camera, I can script and shoot videos, I can run some of the business, but there's a lot of things and moving parts behind the scenes. So ultimately, how do you start building revenue streams if you're brand new and haven't done this before? Well, the revenue stream number one, the one that I love to start with is affiliate marketing because you start an affiliate blog first. You sell other people's products before you sell your own. This dictates your content strategy. It has higher ROI than going just after ad revenue first. And it's the best revenue stream to start while building your own audience. And you can just do transactional posts in your niche. So I have a ton of other videos on how to find these opportunities. But you start that as this, the first revenue stream of many. Then you get to add revenue next. So after that, once you hit about 10,000 visitors a month, it has lower ROI ads do, but you can, you know, it's easier to rank for these, these posts, you know, these high volume posts that you want to rank your blog for. Then you can move on ad revenue next. And then finally, like you have affiliate, you have ad revenue. Now, how do we take the business to the next level? That's course sales. So not everybody wants to do go this route. And that's fine. You can stop at just blogging, doing affiliate and ad revenue. You can build that to like 50,000 or even 100,000 a month potentially. You can just focus on the media side. You don't wanna be in front of a camera or do anything or teach. You can stop there. But if you want to make that crazy life-changing money, go from like I did from about 70,000 a month last year up to now 430,000 a month, that's when you have to start getting out there, trying these other platforms, YouTube, short form video, and really selling your own product, building a true audience. So when you sell your own course, you're selling your own product. Now remember, the value of the course has to be legitimate and real, and I think it should be at least 10 times, or even 100 times higher than the price. This also takes time, so setting up the equipment, shooting a course, planning the curriculum, you know, going through a beta student, uh, students like I did, it takes time. So you want to probably be full time. So you want the blog first to get you to full time fr uh, time freedom so that you can start building these things for yourself. It's a little harder to like build a course and YouTube channel on the side of a job. So this is when you then begin your YouTube plus social content strategy and start blanketing all platforms. Because really there's, like we talked about, there's two paths in blogging. So there's the content side, that's what you actually write about. Then there's the link building side. So that's getting links to your blog. Well, there's also the two paths of content creation. So taking it a step higher, there's your media side. So there's your blog, your you know YouTube channel that's promoting other companies. So if my blog is promoting software companies, it's also doing a little teaching about how to start a blog and all that, but it's primarily promoting other companies, making money via affiliate and sponsorships. And on the other side, there's the information business. So this is YouTube. This is social. This is me teaching people how to do what I did, promoting my own product, making online course sales and building a real community, focusing on student success. How do we get more testimonials, more people finding successes, more people making thousands of dollars a month? But the two things are very different. So when you look at my blog, I'm promoting software companies and promoting other brands. Then you look at like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram Reels, and it's me teaching how to do it, focusing on my own thing. So it's two very different business models. On one side, there's affiliate, SEO, that kind of thing. And then we're moving into what we're learning about the information side, which is like sales funnels, social content, short form content, and the YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram algorithms. So the two sides of the business are separate entities. So as we learn and as we evolve, we start with blogging, we teach everything as you go so you can make money online in any way that you want. Really, all you have to do is start small. Just know, based on you know my experience, there is no revenue ceiling if you're willing to learn. It's all about a consistent strategy. You know, there's not anything amazing about the TikTok videos I'm putting out, but one of them, you know, gets a half a million views and, you know, it's about the consistency. So it's really about understanding the platform that you're on. So if it's a blog, you're publishing one to two articles a week. If it's a YouTube channel, you're publishing a certain amount, you know, one to two videos a week. Short form content might be a video every single day, but you can do all of these things once you get your time freedom back and want to build a real brand for yourself. So how do you do it? Well, 
I want to teach, you know, create and teach how to create that unkillable machine. So building that unkillable personal brand from nothing, just based on raw determination and consistency. So that's blogging plus YouTube plus shorts. So if you're a content creator and you want to make life changing money, you can do it with the brand of you. And you basically can use a blog and YouTube channel as the stable foundation of your online business. And then you back that up and accelerate growth with the short form content on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube shorts. You don't want to start the business on TikTok or Instagram because you don't own those platforms. You don't know the, com you know, the community guidelines and you could get banned or all of that. You want to own your own platform with the blog, own your YouTube channel, really focus on that. And then you can accelerate all of this stuff and do it all. But there's kind of this process to freedom, right? It starts with the blog and affiliate on the side of the job. And then it slowly grows over time into something that you can never you know, stop doing and it just keeps growing. And I'm still staying in the trenches. So more income is still from the blog side than the coaching side. So when we look at the yearly data, it's like, yes, the media side, the blog side, which is still like affiliate revenue, sponsorship revenue, ad, most of the ad revenue is more than the course side or teaching. So we always want to stay in the trenches on the blogging side so that we know and can teach the best that we can. Because a lot of people just go small, tiny six figure blog, and then they teach it and make seven figures with a course. Well, we want to build the biggest possible blog in existence, then the biggest YouTube channel, then all platforms on social and teach every single step along the way so that no matter what you want to do, we can teach you and help you do it. We want to master all algorithms and basically show you how to start any type of online business. So if that's interesting to you. If you want 60 minutes of free training on how, you know, how I make $300,000 a month and more, make sure to click the link below the video and give that a free watch. And let me know what you think. You know, are you making any income streams yet with your online business? Was this interesting to you? What questions do you have about the business side? You know, how to do things? How do we do video editing? What is the process like for shorts? Let me know if you have any comments. I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you in the next video.